Hello guys and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful side bar nav navigation which is very popular and useful especially in dashboard applications something like this. So let's see how this is uh, navigated. So let's take a look at this design that we have right here. Let me change the background color so that we can see better. So the nav sidebar is very important especially for navigations so let's see here this is the design which i have and i can navigate to views and the views will be shown correctly as you can see here and navigate back to the dashboard and the products and if your views are not available you can also set the message that will be shown when the view is not available so all of this is achieved with minimal code and using Citicon UA controls. So today I'm going to show you how you can make this, especially when you're using user controls, as we are not creating this in dynamic form, but we are actually getting a user control that shows this line chart and also this uh, Citicon area chart. So we're not going to do a step-by-step -step creation because that will take a lot of time and uh, most of you may not be able to watch the video up to the end. So just going to review the code, how I did it, and you can follow along as this is going to be easy. So, first of all, I just created a set of user controls. As you can see, these are dashboard user controls, which lost the line chart. And this is a products user control, which lost the area chart. And in the form here, I've just added icons here. Let's look at the items from the menu. As you can see here, I just added the image here as the icons. So, these are dashboard icons icons of course you can change them to anything and they'll be loaded correctly as you can see here so there's nothing much fancy here just the images next to the dashboard buttons here and i've linked this navigation to this content panel so you need a content panel which is linked to the uh, navigation bar as you can see here this is the nav bar and we've linked it here so that uh, the views are shown when navigation happens so let's go to the source code as you can see here uh, we just declared the um, dashboard and the products and initialized it and here um, we are adding it to content view here so we're adding the dashboard and also the products to the content view the first parameter is the name of the button which is the dashboard here so um this is the button text not the button name so it is the button text as you can see it has to be exactly as the text that you provide for this button when you are adding item buttons to the navigation here so this is a dashboard products store messages statistics and voices and so forth so this is the the text that you tag here and then you pass it as the first parameter when you're adding content to view as the dashboard it has to be exactly as what you've provided right here and the second parameter is the control so this can be a user control any kind of control so the dashboard here as you can see it is a dashboard control which is our user control that we have uh, made right here as you can see these are user control and behind we don't even have any code it's just a user control with a line chart same as the products which is just a, a user control without any behind code in an area chart right here so come back here and then we declare and initialize we add them to the view so let me show you something that happens usually when you are navigating a uh, user controls or any kind of controls or even panels without declaring them in real time here but getting them from predefined form for example this dashboard is predefined you're making a reference to it and then passing it as the second parameter so let's see what happens without any events that are handled so let's run the project and see what we get so there's a project as you can see here um, we can navigate to other buttons but as soon as we go back to the dashboard there's nothing to show products there's nothing to show but initially, if you have noticed, the dashboard was showing something. We had data on the dashboard right here. This is the selected dashboard, as you can see here. 
and we have the uh, line chart here with some data that are shown here in the series but when you navigate away and come back there's nothing shown so you may come across with this scenario and you may be wondering what's happening so that's something i'm going to tackle today so our content panel is a very complex and smart panel by default we have set the auto content management to true so by default the auto content management property is set to true this is whereby we are allowing the content panel to manage the views that have been added right here so when this is set to true initially when you navigate away from a view it clears all the loaded views and then it loads the new view which you have navigated to and the views that were loaded which were navigated from are cleared that is why you won't see anything when you navigate from the dashboard and back because the view has been cleared what if we set this to false let's see what happens let's run the project and let's see the changes that we've made we've set the auto manage content to false so let's see what happens as you can see here we can um uh navigate to products we can navigate to store to anything and yet we're still seeing the dashboard and the content is telling us that we're on finances or on to-do list whatever view we have navigated but it's not clearing and we can actually see the content which is supposed to be for the dashboard so this is what happens when you set the auto manage content to false for example you have some buttons which you want to use to launch an external link for example your website or some other external resources and you want the user to see the view uh, without navigating away from the main view for example the dashboard but whilst launching other actions on other buttons you simply set the auto manage content to false but by default it comes as true so how can we handle scenarios where we want to navigate from one view to the other view and back while seeing all the views that we navigate to even though they are cleared well there's no need to declare the auto manage content to true because by default it's set to true which is okay we have to handle the after navigate event so let's come here uh, let's rename um not rename let's uncomment this because already we have declared here so we have subscribed to the after navigation event as you can see here and this is the event handler of the after navigate event so this event is fired when we navigate away from um, a view so the after navigate is fired and it passes on vital information for example the old view the new view and and things like that so in the event handler we can create a switch or an if else statement whichever is convenient for you either works so let's see the event the data that is passed as you can see we can get the navigation item which is an object we can also um, get the new view which comes as a string the name of the view in the previous view where we're navigating from as well so we we're interested in the new view here this is the view that we are targeting or the view that we've navigated to so here we then create a case and if we have navigated to the dashboard let's add the dashboard user control that we've declared here to the content view because we're not getting back to it by default the auto manage content is set true so we know that the content panel is cleared all the loaded panels so we just add it again and then we do the same for products and then we can set the default we can choose whatever you want to set if you're using a switch if you're using an if else statement no need to set the default declaring these two is enough and the content panel will know the user controls that have been loaded and the ones that haven't been loaded and it will automatically navigate for you without any problems so we have declared um, the the user controls here and then we're adding them back here because we have not uh, initialized and created them dynamically in this um, 
form, we are getting them from a t predefined state here from the user controls. So it's important to handle the after navigate event so that they are re-added because the auto manage content will always clear to make sure that a new view is uninterrupted. So we're adding to the panel the dashboard and also we're adding the product. So here as you can see um, we have a dashboard and we have a products. So let's change this to products. Let's get the product name that we've declared here and come back down here and then add here as the products. So let's see the changes. Let's run our project and see what we get. Right, our project is run and now you can see this is the dashboard which contains the line chart here and some series and data. This is simple data. If you go to the products now, it loads the area chart. And then if we go to the store, which we haven't declared, so there's nothing to show at this, uh, this moment. Of course, this content is customizable. Just go to the designer of the um, content view here and then go to the properties and you'll be able to customize the text right here. Nothing to show for this view here. You can customize the text, the color, the font and things like that. So this is a custom message right here. So let's navigate back to dashboard. There we see the dashboard, the products, the dashboard and the products and then other uh, elements and buttons which we haven't added any user controls. So whenever you want to use a user control to display in your dashboard, this is the best way you can do it. Make sure that uh, your navigation is handling this important event, the after navigate, which is fired when you leave an old view to a new view. Because the auto manage content is set to true, it's clearing all the loaded views and then you have to edit uh, right here. You only do this once and you're done. The entire lifetime of the application, the content manager is going to correctly manage all your views. This is very efficient because no view is going to distort any other view or even having overlapping views because there's always one view at a time whilst the content manager is managing all the views. So this is a very clean way of navigating through your items, especially when you're using the navigation, as you can see here. So the rest is codeless. So just use the Citicon controls and you'll be able to navigate and use all these um, views that have been loaded as you navigate through your sidebar menu. So whatever you are using, uh, whether you're creating a user control, which is complex with so many dynamic uh, items, the content manager is going to help. It's not going to mix all the views. It will clear the views and then load them afresh for as long as you have handled the after navigate. So go ahead and tell us what you think about this uh, system that we've created. We have the content manager and the navigation bar. Tell us what you think. Are there any features that you'd like to see? And uh, if so, just leave a comment below or send us an email. We'll make sure that we're going to develop this so that you can use the controls uh, to your convenience without any hassles or problems. As you can see back here, we have limited code only handling the content. If you choose to use a dynamic creation of the content, uh, sometimes there is not even a need to handle the after navigate because the content manager will be aware that the items are being created dynamically uh, and they will be swapped and shown accordingly but if you're getting the user control somewhere make sure that you are handling the after navigate and then everything will work perfectly and you get a very beautiful navigation system which is useful when you're creating dashboards and other related applications as you can see so thank you so much guys and let me know what you think about this and if you have any suggestions any questions feel free to comment or send an email I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.